Be ready five second. Start. The High Court relied upon confessional statement recorded under Section 164 CRPC and found that the same was voluntary and had been made by the appellant without any threat or fear and that it contained a full confession of crime and also disclosed the manner in which the crime had been committed. The High Court also relied upon the report of the serologist Sri Vien Kumar, who had stated in the chemical report that the seized articles including bloodstained sword produced by the appellant and the clothes of the appellant were stained with human blood of B group, which tallied with the blood group with which the clothes of the diseased persons were stained. The High Court treated this as sufficient corroboration of the retracted confessional statement and further relying upon testimony of the sister-in-law of the appellant PW11 as well as other materials on the record found that the retracted confession of the appellant had received ample corroboration both from direct and other circumstantial evidence and agreeing with the session's judge upheld the conviction of the appellant for the offence under Section 302 IPC. We have considered the retracted judicial confession of the appellant carefully and analyzed the statement of learned judicial magistrate Sri Tara Singh PW1. We have referred to confessional statement in some details in earlier part of this judgment. We are satisfied that learned magistrate had taken all necessary precautions to ensure that the appellant had sufficient time to reflect before he made his confessional statement and that he was under no fear or threat or allurement before appearing in the court to make the statement. The various questions put by learned magistrate to the appellant indicate that he had taken all reasonable precautions to remove any trace of fear from the appellant before he made the confessional statement. The testimony of the sister-in-law of the appellant Srimati Ratnabai PW11 who was subjected to repeated and lengthy cross-examination in the trial court has remained unshaken. Her statement has impressed us and in our opinion 
she had no reason to falsely implicate the appellant with such a heinous offence. Jor Singh PW12 and Bhavar Singh PW13 have lent sufficient corroboration to her testimony as well as to the confessional statement of the appellant. The only discrepancy pointed out with regard to statement of PW11 is that whereas in her statement under section 161 CRPC she had named Hansabai as the child, but at the trial she had given the name of that child as Manraj. She satisfactorily explained the discrepancy when the question was put to her and even otherwise one cannot lose sight of the fact that the witness had seen the most gruesome type of murder by her brother-in-law his own wife and children. Therefore, this minor discrepancy of the name of the child would pale into insignificance particularly when both Hassa and Manraj were murdered by the appellant along with the others. Stop.